Welcome back to the channel, I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Lexus NX. It is a upscale luxury SUV. It's available with four engine options, two hybrid options, and an F-Sport performance level if you want more personality, and that is our test vehicle. We're gonna go through this vehicle from front to back, inside and out, so in the end, you will have a lot of information on the Lexus NX before you take it for a test drive. Let's get started with the design of this vehicle and what's new for 2023. This midsize SUV seats five passengers, it's front engine, and it's all-wheel drive. Let's get started with this vehicle in itself. I love this color. This is my favorite color for a vehicle. It stands out in the crowd. It's classy, and it's modern. The headlights are LED with LED running lights, and I like the black and the blue offset. You can get it all black and have it all blend in, or you can have a lighter color like white and really make it pop. Again, this has the lower silver trim level. This is an F-Sport, so it's going to have more sporty features and more sporty suspension and handling. Our test vehicle rides on 20-inch alloy wheels. In this case, they're black. That's a love or hate. I like the black wheels on this particular vehicle, but they're also available in silver as well. And because it's an F-Sport, they put that badging right there so you know you've got the performance trim level. When it comes to the warranty, this is a Toyota product, so you're gonna get the four-year 50,000-mile warranty plus the six-year 70,000-mile powertrain. And for the hybrid components, because our test vehicle is a hybrid, you're getting eight-year or 100,000-mile warranty on the hybrid components. And there's one year of maintenance or 10,000 miles. That will help save you a few dollars that is all part of what they're offering in the Lexus package. Our test vehicle is the NX, and it has the F Sport, so that means you're gonna have the black mirror caps and the black trim around the windows, as well as the black roof rails. And you'll note that the handles are the new black and blue, so instead of the handle pulling out, it's just behind which is part of the new design of the door handles. And they claim that makes it so you can't break into the vehicle, but I think it looks cleaner and it's more modern. Coming around to the back of the NX, you have your upper wing and your wiper blade here. Third brake light is integrated and that Lexus logo is just below this LED tail light with this full LED lighting. Really looks cool at night. In addition, this is our NX 350. It is all wheel drive and you've got your exhaust pipes as well as your details on your balance. This vehicle is more modern looking and more balanced and more aerodynamic. And I like what they've done as far as color choices and some of the design details. Going inside the Lexus NX, this vehicle seats five people. I am a huge fan of this red leather interior with the gray detail, just really nice, clean and very modern. You'll note that it has lumbar, which makes me very happy. And the F Sport door sill is also listed right there, making you know you have a beautiful car that handles really well. These seats are heated as well as ventilated. Taking a look at the passenger side, you'll see there is no lumbar, but they are heated and ventilated leather seats, and they look really great. Going into the second row, you'll notice this Mark Levinson audio speaker right here, the nice modern detail and the nice leather soft materials, and that red continues. I do like the fact that you can push this to open it, or if you think you might want to pull it, you can do that for emergencies. And there's also storage in the door. Going into the second row, you'll see these beautiful red seats again, with two latch systems that hold three people and two child safety seats. The seats fold down 60-40, and if there's two people in the back, you can pull this down and have an armrest with two cup holders. I'm 5'8", and I've set this seat for me. There is a lot more passenger room than the previous vehicle, and there's also storage pockets behind both the driver and passenger seating. There is vents that are directly behind the center console, and further down, there is three different types of charge ports, so you can always be charging. Standard for the NX is a 9.8 inch display, but the high end trim levels, which starts at the 350, is a 14 inch unit, which is all new. Love this new screen, so much better than the past Entune. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard. Huge, huge plus. They've done a 
beautiful job upgrading this. Also, it's very responsive, which is important. So let's get started with the navigation. Really easy to use. You can use voice commands. You can use Alexa. All this is part of it. Going into the audio system, there is AM radio, FM, Sirius XM, or you can use any of the apps. And I do emphasize AM because we want to make sure that stays in vehicle so you can listen to your local sports, weather, and news. There's heated and ventilated seats as well as two-stage heated steering wheel, which I really appreciate. You can connect through Bluetooth with your phone. And then when you go into the vehicle setting here, this is your safety or your driver assist systems. Super easy to use. It is Lexus's system, which is standard. People really appreciate the standard safety, which includes lane departure alert, parking assist, all those park supports, you don't hit something, blind spot detection, safe exit alert, really important for children, rear cross traffic alert for pulling out of parking spots, rear camera detection for human beings, and roadside assistance. If you press one of these safety features, they're easy to turn on and off by just pressing the button. Super simple to use. In addition, you can go into the trip information, your all-wheel drive setup, which allows you to show you the traction for each corner, tire pressure, you want to know it, you don't have to get out and check your tire pressure once a month. It's as easy as pressing a button and your vehicle alerts are right here. Going into the settings, you can set up your Bluetooth, your general information as far as date and time, Wi-Fi, your sound, your navigation, everything can be customized to meet your needs, making it really easy. And that includes adding the apps that you want from your phone, things that you might use if you listen to podcasts, all that is super easy to do right here. The one thing to note is when you put this vehicle into reverse, you have an around view camera as well as a backup camera and it is crystal clear, which I appreciate because some of the backup cameras that are standard are terrible. This one is really nice, it's adjustable, you can set it up however you want and that around view camera shows the distance to something. In this case, we have a trailer behind us, we certainly don't wanna hit that. Going further down in this beautiful interior, I'm really a fan of the red leather and the real stitching, really nicely done. Your climate control is there, super easy to use. Your volume button is a real button. Not everybody has that, I'm a big fan of that as well. And this is for your drive modes. When you change that, it changes up front on the screen to sport, sport plus, or you can go the other direction into the eco mode. You can press the button and go into the custom mode and then choose your settings. When you put your foot on the brake for the shifter, you move it to the left, that'll put you into neutral. You can go into reverse or into drive. It's very easy to use. It's something that you get used to. Some people love it, some people not so much. You've got your auto on off here, your brake hold, trash control, off-road, would be light off-road, hill descent, and parking brake. One of the things that Lexus offers in Toyota, which I think is genius, is the two-way glove box. Okay, I can get into my way, but what about the person in the passenger seat? Well, it opens that way as well. I think this is super genius. No one has done this before. And I give Toyota a lot of credit and I love the real materials as well. In front of you, the steering wheel has the F Sport logo, which just reminds you that you've got an F Sport and you can see down there, there's the brake pedals. They're also aluminum framed. They did a really nice job on making these pedals look like they're part of a sportier package, which they are. Now here's one of the coolest things you'll see. You see this, but when you look at your head up display, you put your finger over it, it offers you different settings, see? but you only see it in the head-up display. Also, you have page information, which can change that information in front of you to flip. Check that out, isn't that smart? No one's ever thought of that before. I think that's pretty smart, giving you the information that you want when you need it. In front of you, you have digital gauges that also have additional information. You can change that as you need. Again, you can do that through the controls, but this is super easy to drive. And when you change the drive modes, it also changes the gauges. I love the linear mode in the Sport Plus. Isn't that cool? Otherwise, it's just Eco, Sport, Sport Plus, and then go into the custom mode. Really nicely done, nice details. On the door, you've got Mark Levinson audio and more modern details, really nice and clean. Three memory seating, as well as illuminated mirrors, and locks, everything is here, really nice. Again, I love this red. You can either push it or pull it twice to open the door and additional storage down below. 
Overall, the interior of this vehicle is really nice and a big improvement for Lexus. And I appreciate the two-tone interiors, the exterior color choices. This is a Superman combination, in my opinion. So it's the bright blue with the red. Above you, you have a button that opens up that shade for that gigantic glass roof. And it opens pretty quickly and closes pretty quickly as well. Lots of other details in this vehicle. This is the kind of rear view mirror you need when you have someone in the second row and a lot of gear in back. It allows you to see because otherwise you would just see a bunch of heads and a bunch of equipment. This is a super smart, safe way to go. And Lexus has added that into their luxury lineup. Under the hood of the Lexus NX is four powertrain choices. The NX250 with a 2.5 liter engine and 203 horsepower that earns 26 miles the gallon in the city and 33 on the highway. The NX350 is a 2.4 liter engine with 275 horsepower, eight speed automatic transmission, it's all wheel drive. Zero to 60 time is 6.6 .6 seconds with a combined fuel economy of 27 miles to the gallon. Our test vehicle is the NX350H, which pairs two electric motors with the 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine. It has 239 horsepower, zero to 60 times 7.6 .6 seconds, 41 miles to the gallon in the city, 37 on the highway. And the top of the line NX450 Plus is a 302 horsepower plug-in hybrid powertrain that is a zero to 60 time of 5.6 .6 seconds, combined fuel economy of 35 miles to the gallon and up to 37 miles of electric driving range. Lots of choices for these vehicles. In addition, the F Sport trim comes with adaptive suspension that firms up the ride and delivers a bit more handling. Zero to 60 times, 7.6 seconds in Sport Plus. This hybrid motor kicks in. Instant response, really nice. This vehicle should be no problem with passing on ramps, acceleration. Actually, it's just the right amount for this vehicle. You don't want it to be a race car. It's an F Sport, so it's going to have a stiffer ride. I like what they did on the Sport Plus mode. This is just enough when you need it, it's there. And if you don't want it, you just click down to the eco mode and you can relax. The suspension is soft, it absorbs everything, but overall you still have the braking. Now, there is something I'm noticing right away in my head-up display that I have all the safety features on. And I do that so I can test it for you. So this has got lane departure warning and it also has lane centering. So if you Take your hands off your steering wheel like I am right now. The little steering wheel in front of me is no longer green. Put both hands on the steering wheel and that steering wheel is green saying, hey, you're in control, you're focused on the roadway. This is all part of the safety features. When I pulled out of my neighborhood to go take this for a drive, it showed cross traffic. I saw it, but if I didn't see it, these safety features would engage and give you that warning. Again, this is part of what Lexus is trying to do, give you all the safety features, get you used to this so that you will use it and not shut it off. And the truth is I would leave it on. Now you may or may not like certain features or you wanna reduce certain features. You can go into the settings and play with whatever works for you. But as far as I'm concerned, this vehicle is perfect for having everything. It even has roadside recognition it's white if you're below the speed limit. It's 40 miles an hour here. If I accelerate over 40, as soon as I get over, let's see, as soon as I get to 43 miles an hour, it turns red saying, hey, you're going over the speed limit. And those are things that instead of having a radar detector to remind you to be within the speed, you can have it right here on the gauge in front of you as well as in the head-up display. I really love all the technology that they've added to this Lexus because it truthfully needed an upgrade and they really stepped up their game, especially with this center screen. I love this navigation screen. It's now perfect for this car. It's a nice balance. As far as the vehicle's handling, I'm really happy with it. Nice grippy steering wheel. You feel like you're in control of the road. The all season Bridgestone tires have good traction and the brakes are excellent as expected. Now we'll go down this little curvy road here into the corners. Again, this is a luxury vehicle that has performance aspects to it. Remember, Lexus has a certain customer that has certain expectations, and they certainly don't want to lose any of their customers. And in order to keep them, they keep upgrading their cars like every brand does. But Lexus has, and Toyota have really done a nice job stepping up the whole package, and I'm really liking what they've done. Good mid-range acceleration as well. I like this car. 
I happened to drive this vehicle to a Toyota event. I was really impressed with the vehicle and thought to myself, wow, the NX has definitely stepped up its game. In the past, it wasn't bad, but this is just a whole gigantic step. If you're considering a 2024 Lexus, remember the 23 is exactly the same, which is interesting. So you're gonna only see some color changes and some very minor, minor details. So we will be reviewing the 24 once we get one, but I will tell you right away, both of them are equivalent. And if you're thinking about one versus the other, see what the dealers have in stock. When it comes to cargo space, there's 23 cubic feet of storage. The seats do fold down 60-40. Underneath our cargo cover is additional storage. It's really nice and deep well, which is great for putting items like your purse or a laptop. If you go somewhere, something of value will be out of sight. Further, if you fold that up, is additional storage behind that as well. And there's storage in the pockets on the side, as well as areas to hang plastic bags so don't slide all over your back seat. There are six different trim levels, so the price point on the Lexus NX is quite wide. Our test vehicle came in at $48,000, and there were a lot of additional options. This is for the F Sport all-wheel drive. If you want to buy an NX250, that comes in at $39,775 and tops out at the NX450 H plus with the F Sport package at $58,955. So the price is quite wide depending upon which engine you want. Again, there's four engine choices and that's part of the pros and cons. Really like the fact that there is hybrid options, there's gasoline options, there's performance options. You get to pick what works for your budget and works for your needs and your wants. On the negative side, it's important to note this has slightly less cargo space than a lot of its competitors. And that competitor list is long. So long, I'm actually gonna read it to you because you won't believe it. This is most of them. The Toyota RAV4, that's the sister car, BMW X1, Audi Q3, Mercedes GLA, Lincoln Corsair, Volvo XC40, Cadillac XT4, Acura RDX, and the Genesis GV70. We have reviewed every single one of these vehicles on our channel and you want to check that out we also have it in spanish that's on our car coach reports channel so it's important that you test drive these vehicles check with your insurance agent find if there's any incentives there are on some and not on others there's a loyalty discount if you stick with this brand and there's a conquest discount if you're coming from one of those other brands to this brand if you don't ask for it you don't get it and that's really important factors that people forget about if a salesperson says they don't have it don't believe them ask for the sales manager because there is deals to be had out there on literally every vehicle. Now, I know you have additional comments and questions about this vehicle. Put them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe and share this with your friends. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description as well as the website, the podcast, the book, and my social media. Thank you so much for watching. Take one for a test drive. You'll be impressed too.